Hello there, YouTube. We are back with some more match play commentary for y'all. I'm joined by the Quackity McQuackerton, the Highwayman himself, TJ. <laughs> Ta-da! <laughs> He's here. That, uh, that was I did Ta-da in duck language. In case you didn't pick up on that, you're welcome. You now can speak duck. Uh, but we're back with some commentary for you guys. Uh, these were filmed over at Sully's Abode, which is the local car shop that we go to every Thursday for Digi. Pop off at about 6.30. You know, they've built a great community. They've got a ton of TCG product and locals. So if you're in the Chicagoland area, they're located in Bolingbrook. Feel free to check them out. Um, I'll drop their TCG player link down in the video description below, along with our socials, which has our Twitter, Instagram, Discord, all that good stuff. Um, but in today's matchup, we've got a pretty interesting one here. We've got yourself, TJ, playing Dexter Gora yes, on the left. We've got mm -hmm. Mitchell playing Heavy Leomon on the right. Um, shout out to Mitchell too. You know, he's been kind of a dedicated locals player with us for yes. recent times. And he's definitely gotten a hell of a lot better too. Like, it's crazy to see like people progressing, right? And like Mitchell with Leo is like super scary. <laughs> mm -hmm. We had some really good matches. Oh, no. I kind of wish our matches were on cam too. Cause like he had some great plays and it was like great matches and yeah. a lot of great back and forth. So I'm glad we were able to catch him on cam with with Leo going up against your deck, which is also like an interesting matchup for the back and forth. It's hard. <laughs> it's, yeah. It's yeah. so hard. Um, but yeah, let us know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Um, and hopefully you guys enjoy it as much as we do. But mm -hmm. enough jibber jabber. Let's hop right into the round over here. Oh man, dude. I heard this is crazy rumor going around mm -hmm. where if you subscribe right now, you get 10 whole chest hairs. 10 chest hairs, but not nine. Sorry, we're not we're not 11, 11 bears yet, but you get 10 whole chest hairs. Congratulations. That's a pretty good deal. Yep. Um, anyways, <laughs> so we see uh, Mitchell start goes into a uh, Lekmon on the back, drops a training. Um, mm. I go ahead, drop a cool boy, just doing some search. I did, I kind of had a rough start. Uh, I did not have the rookie I was looking for, so I just had to grab the BT9 door, which is tough. Um, and then I just play training, get a little more search going. I sure. Think, yeah, I have to go to the training and find out the Dora Gray. Um, and all right, I'm gonna just cut this off now. Before anyone asks me, there's like two instances here <laughs> where I'm a little bit slow on resolving things. <laughs> all oh right? Oh my God. Mitchell is kind and understands me and I love him for it. And so he's That's okay with training. All right. If he would have said no, I would have put the I wouldn't have done it. All right? So I'm just going to cut it off now before any of y'all start chirping at me. And you're still going to chirp. People aren't going to I'm going to I'm trying to catch Leo it before it happens. X. Yeah. So I I clarify here. I'm like you don't actually have to pay anything cuz it's he's a free evo in the first place. Yeah, yeah. Um and you you can but yeah, you can still swing an evo into it. Uh um, does it a coast coast security and goes mm -hmm. into a loader Leo. Yeah. That puts me over to my three with Kosuke now on board. Kosuke and a bunch of trainings. And so, yeah, the world is my oyster. Um, so the, the thing with this matchup, right, is it's, it's very difficult because Leo is a deck where it doesn't mind getting deleted, right? And Doragoro, all their stuff is deletion. We have, like, some D-Digivolve, but that's about it. Um, and we're very susceptible to D-Digivolve and then right, DP reduction. Right. So Leo is, like, the perfect storm of counter, Mm -hmm. Unless I see like the one of Dora Gray, where it is just it can be very painful um, if things get resolved oh my like in the right sir. way. Yeah, so I was trying to find pieces, and then I finally found a Daruga. I didn't have a level four. That was my first level four that I've seen all game. So heavy Leo <laughs> swings, didn't bond to make anything, so it can restand. Hits a Zubagon punch. Yep. Which um, I mean, Mitchell's doing pretty good aggression, pretty good early pokes. It's just you have, like you said, you've got the world at your feet right now with all those resources ready to go. You have your level yeah. four. I'm sure at this point you ha probably have a Dex Daruga. I, I have a decent amount of stuff. I think I, I think I actually did not have a Dex Daruga. Dang. I only had the Daruga. Unless I'm, I might be wrong, I don't I don't remember exactly. We'll protoform. Find out. I do have a protoform. Oh, maybe I did have a Dexteruga actually, because I think I was thinking about doing a protoform to go into the Dexteruga just to get protoform in the stack. Yeah. I have to tuck Kosuke first and get a draw. And I'm trying to think because it's like it's hard because I have to basically do the mental gymnastics of how I want to. Yeah, I did have one. 
of how I want to like deal with the stack without my stack being digivolved or messed up too bad. And I had just come off of a game with Oscar where I lost because I basically made the wrong call with my Daruga when I targeted something to like make it swing start of main phase. Mm. Um, and you know, I just was not like, I wasn't making good calls. Uh, and then Oscar just is a great player. So he capitalized yeah. very, very well. Training into the limited Doru Gray. Mm -hmm. Shout out Bryce. I know you love this card. <laughs> I go ahead and I tuck, <laughs> tuck the, uh, the door mine in there to give reboot to my stack. Pop a training, go door Gora for Sheesh. one. Um, I can't pop the Leo cause it's suspended. Yeah, so I go ahead and pop, pop one of the analogs, which is actually pretty, pretty good pop going up against Leo Mon who love their analog use. Yeah. Um, and then I think I'm about to go into a Dex Gora. is what I was considering doing. Ooh, Zubagon. Oh, no, Zubagon first. Oh, I push aggression, I think, first. So you're plus 3k DP, check plus one, reboot blocker. So I swear. And, and he has pallet emoting. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. all my sources go to trash. And then he uh, he bottom decks my stuff. So I just put it back in there. Mm -hmm. The Dory goes there. I still swing for two checks, which I do hit a... Uh, a boy, but I had the plus 3k still, so yeah, I live. Yeah, and so the, the sec guy. plus one from Zubagon still lingers because I had the DP threshold to get the keywords uh -huh. when I, um, bef you know, before I swung. And then uh, I had the one of Doru Din in my hand, so I'm able to go ahead and pop the analog youth. Um, and because I have a Dorgora on board, and then mm -hmm. I'm able to pop the Paladin because that's the lowest, uh, the lowest play cost Digimon on board. Right. So I choked a one. And so that's pretty good. And my guy's still a big blocker with reboot who can't be yeah. DP reduced. Yeah. I mean, you dealt with that pretty well. Like that's probably as clean as you can get right there. Uh, it Mitchell, was yeah. definitely scary. Yeah. It was definitely scary. Yeah. Um, but this I, goes into I had a some lucky outs in, in the hand. back. Um, you should be a three. Uh, maybe or did yeah I it looks like again? i should be i got no i think i don't know why i'm not at three mm. i don't know why i had the door I, I i didn't catch that but yeah i guess i had the kosuke there uh that's fine so he goes ahead and pushes up it's not a mm. huge deal yeah um he'll go ahead uh, suspend the mimi to hatch and evil and a leal on the back oh, he'll my. swing kosuke. checks the kosuke well, end of attack, delete it to go ahead and spit out the Mad Leo and then spit out the other boy. So he the minuses. fact that he can do that is crazy, man. Like, I remember so playing I minus against Mitchell. six right now. And he would just, like, swing, end of attack, pop. Both guys come back out. I'm like, oh, God. What do yeah. I do? And then goes Grap Leo and bottom decks me because I am low enough uh, DP-wise. Pretty good. And so I'm like, okay, well, I guess That's I got to try and respond again. by you guys. Yeah. Yeah, the, I will say the one thing is scary as matchup is it's very fun back and forth. Um, I go ahead and proto form here, so I'm like, okay, if something happens to the stack, at least I can get some recovery going uh -huh. and uh, get reboot in the stack with the uh, the Dexter. I pitch a card still, uh, nothing for me to pop. I go ahead, I tuck the Coast K in at this point. I go Door Gray for one with off of the training. And at this point, I'm thinking about swinging, but I'm like, wait, I have to worry about ace cards. And this is something I learned painfully against yeah, um, yeah. against Oscar is like, I, the fives are so scary. Like, I have mm -hmm. to be careful. I have to clear them first. I can't just swing willy-nilly. You're considering training going into, I would assume, a Dorgora at this point. Yeah. And then I'm Which just I thinking think about what I want to pop. It's a good call. Pop something. Yeah, so I do. I just pop that, and there's two different ways I could have resolved this, but I think this way, either way, works fine. It doesn't really change much. You go into like a Dex. No. Yeah, I do that, and then because I deleted a Digimon, I'm able to spit out a boy, so I spit out a Doru, and then I go ahead, pitch a card, draw two. Yeah. And, and then I go Dex Dorgora. Pop. Digival pop. Yep. That's pretty good. I go ahead and swing, check, <laughs> and then. Doro can't swing, so I'm just debating what I want to do. I have reboot in the stack. I think I'm just trying to find a good way to pass turn because I'm worried about what he has coming up. Because mm -hmm. I don't have like any protections on this stack. Right. Drop an AG, sure. Yeah. Yep. Debating if you want to split the coast guy out or not, but you end up yeah, keeping him I, in and then you have reboot. Yeah, like I'm you like, said. I need I need the blocker. And you know, uh I have a coast K on board already, so it's not the worst thing. 
Wait. Um, he will Evo into a Grapplio, bottom deck the Doru. Uh, taps me, me, will hatch, go into an Elec in the back. And so I'm a big blocker, so he's thinking about what he wants to do. Mm -hmm. He's just trying to find a way to stop the aggression. And Mega Gargo Rose, Ace just to lock yeah. down your guys. Yeah, locks down that and my Kosuke. Yeah. Um, I do. I hatch, do all that stuff. Uh, I leave the Kosuke in the stack. Mm -hmm. I believe. I mean, that's pretty good from Mitchell's perspective. I mean, he is threatening game in multiple yeah. ways next turn yeah you know? and i still have reboot so like i'm not too pressed like i can at least still like stop something like crazy from happening i can at least block us because if i block a swing and it deletes the digimon i'll unsuspend right so like i'm not like yeah, yeah. i'm sitting in a pretty okay spot as well but it is scary um mega gargo locks you down until the end of your oh i can't oh, spend until the end yeah, of my yeah, turn yeah, yeah yeah and then reboot but i have like, reboot yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that part so i just drop an agu um depending else what else i want to put yeah i mean this is definitely that was a five seven to pay one i actually did i only paid two initially and then i was like oop that's not how it's supposed to go um and then AG. i go ahead sure. yeah play another ag pass him over to his three this is definitely like you really this is a point where you got to really think about what you want to do because one wrong move just ends the game for either player here yeah um arguably like you said you are in a pretty decent spot um mitchell will go ahead and go loader leo to get rid of the agu which is always a good call you I draw. I'll go ahead will go ahead and block mm -hmm. which will let him spit out the loader leo and you're at should be a three he did did you evolve me I, it's, i'm still resolving my effects because oh, sure, i have to because sure. i deleted something i'm able to play out a rookie yeah and then resand the coast k go to three uh i put the coast k out and then i draw that i'm at my three proper um coast should have been the first thing to come out there but it was Maybe's like we're just figuring stuff out memory so you go up to five yeah again pretty scary Hmm. Okay, so you go Dex, Daruga, pitch a card to gain yeah. a memory. Yeah, I am minus three at the mm -hmm. moment. Right. Um. So right now I'm debating what I want to do. Because he did give... Uh, or no, I guess he popped the... No, yeah, he minus three, with, he minus three me with that other guy. So and I go into a Dex, Daruga... Or Dexter Agora. I have to only just digivolve once here and pop both. Um, mm -hmm. The Grapple plays back out and then he pops my Agu. You gain overflow here after you resolve effects. I'm yeah, I, I'm. Yeah, I, it takes me a second to realize it. Um, but I'm like looking at memory. I'm like, I'm pretty sure I did that play because I should have more memory. <laughs> and then. I'm it's a lot. Up. I mean, like, even like the one, catch it, TJ. the one few, like the one yeah, there round of there stuff that we were playing <laughs> last night, right? With like me doing purple, you doing black base. Like, there's just so much. Yeah. Going on. Um, I have to deck. go ahead and Evo pop that. Yeah. There are a lot um, of tools. I could have. There are a lot yeah, of. Tools I could have gamed if I had put the um the ag there, but I I didn't That's do it right. So I, it's a little. I mean, you, you, I think regardless, be. you're you're fine. Unless you give uh, Mitchell like 10 memory, there's no way. Yeah. No, I think what I have to do. Yeah, you're fine. I just play a cool boy. Cause he's gonna go three regardless. I mean, he's, so he I can't do it. Even like, yeah. He just has to keep turn. I mean, so <laughs> the problem is though, if he, he mega gargoyles you, then there could be some right. issues. Which is what I was being, uh, I was something I was concerned about, but I have a Dexter Gorgora. Yeah. So I just Evo, tap, get the memory back, pop, swing. Yeah. Yeah. We go game two. Um, so overall, I think I did pretty good. Like, I think the only real thing that could be more efficient with was like if I put the lions in the stack. But I think at the time I was thinking, um, if I needed to like swing and like collision pierce through something potentially if I got D Digivolved. Um, but 
it slapped it all working out. Yeah. No, I mean, you, you the, like I said, the deck's got a lot of tools that you can use. And I think we see that at full display here where, you know, in the hands of a good pilot, you can definitely find ways to navigate yourself out of certain scenarios. Uh, Cause you, like I said, you have the resources to do so, whether it be the Digivolve, Pop, um, popping tamers, you know, unsuspend playing yeah. bodies. Like you have a lot of things at your arsenal to kind of really throw at your opponent, you know? Yeah. And I, I learned a lot from the matchup with Oscar before this. Yeah. Um, which helped me with like resolving things a bit better. Um, I just drop a cool boy, Doro in the back, grab the uh, Dorogora. You see Mitchell go ahead and hatch, go into an elect, drop a cool uh, analog youth. I'm called my cool boy. Grabs the Gargoyce, trashes a Paladin Ace and a training, and then we'll go ahead and just Evo Leo in the back I mean, too. I mean, one day he might be a cool boy. He's still a youth. He might. He could be. He could be. That's true. We get there. And I think at this point, I am sort of trying to find pieces again. I think I was kind of stuck a little bit again. Mm -hmm. Leo swings. Um, Leo effect will let him go into a Loader Leo, which gets rid of the Doru. Uh, Loader Leo hits cost. a training. Jeez. Mm hmm. Uh, we play out a terrier. Yeah, it's just just to sort of stop any potential memory gain shenanigans uh, with uh, or, like Dexteruga. Basically, is really the only sure. thing that would stop. Just um, I have to just drop a Coast K. Yeah, I'm just I'm just playing setup again. I'm like, you know what? I've learned. If there's one thing I've learned with Doragora, at least for Black Base, I really nine times out of ten don't mind playing from one or two security. Yeah um a lot of times i don't mind just setting up and then just waiting for that one perfect like turn to counter um yeah no i mean for that, sure because it's, it's a deck that like if you bust out your counter play too early you end up just getting countered yourself yeah so it's, you, it's served yeah. me well so far it has yeah. served me pretty well so far the mentality for it um i go ahead and training go to ruga uh resolving effects i pitch a card draw a card I say that the loader Leo has to swing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's me doing it right there. And then I'm debating what I want to do. I think I have a Dexteruga. Yep. Yeah, I do. There he is. I'm able to get the memory off a of Tamer effects, so I still draw one again. I'm to pop the Terrier just to get rid of that boy. Pitch the Death X, which should have been pitched, and then I pop something, but we get there. Um. And I think I'm just debating what I want to do because that so that boy's gonna have to swing. I go ahead, I training, go into a door mm -hmm. right here, so I can't be DP reduced or or deleted, just because I know that so many things go crazy. Uh, I tuck in the BT17 door gray. I go into a door gora, pop an analog youth, and then I go yeah, uh, Dex Taruga. Did yeah. you evolve down to an elect and pop it? Yeah, it, it was a really good turn. Yeah. And I have my protections. I have like all the best inheritables I could want in a stack almost except for like one card maybe yeah um but yeah so it's yeah it's a pretty scary boy I will say too I think testing against you obviously and just like watching you play it as well like I definitely I think when I first started playing it got very tunnel visioned into having just Dex Dorugora in trash I mean, hard yeah. evoing him too is actually not bad. You know, the D oh, no, three all the and pop is not bad at all. I ideally just try and get one of each piece in the trash to to cycle, uh -huh. and then after that, the rest of them I I maintain I hold in hand. But they, it depends. I will say the hardest thing uh -huh. is picking and choosing what you're um what you're trashing. Yeah. Um, when your hand size is a bit smaller and you're kind of like trying to you know be cons consider of your resources, um. Yeah, it's it's there's a lot. Um, but he goes he goes Michael Gargoyle and just locks us down. I'm trying to find ways out of it right now. I drop a Doru, tuck a Kosuke under. Can't be removed from the field outside of like straight up deletion. Correct. Right. And I can't digivolve my Dorogora. So I'm trying to decide what I want to do. Because I'm just like, is there a way I can clear that boy? I have reboot at least. You have reboot. I honestly feel like too, like if you just choke to one, yeah. Yeah, so I Zubagon give myself the boost. I hit plus I'm at 13 because of the uh Daruga inheritable, so I'm able to go up to 16. I get all my stuff. So I reboot blocker, big 16k blocker. Um Yeah, it's just it's a big stack. And, and if I delete something, I'll spit another body out. Which yeah. like at this point, like Mitchell really can't do much at all. 
outside of yeah just try to maybe set up if anything and hope he lives another turn mm -hmm. and so at this point considering what i want to do up. push up doru i tuck under a coast k draw one um for a moment i'm thinking then i'm like wait it's still start of main i can go ahead and tuck another coast k if i want which i have so i go ahead and do that give the other door protections um and so right now I'm thinking about what I want to do. Mm. I drop the AG. I opt to go ahead, tuck the AG in so I can alliance. Nice, uh, I go yeah. Dorogori or Dex Dorogori here. Gain one, draw one. Gain memory off of the overflow for digivolving and then popping that stack. Here's where things and then, go crazy. And we, we see your legs wandering in a minute here. So I swing oh. for two checks because I have Dorogori inheritable. Uh -huh. uh, I know I alliance as well. So it's three checks. Yeah. I swing Doru, hoping that it dies. It does die, which lets you my Dex Dorogora unsuspend. Oh, yep. that's nasty. Yeah, and then I swing with the Doru check and then swing for game. Jeez. Yeah, there's one thing. Someone commented it in a previous video, and yeah. I I realized and I've I've realized it, but it's hard to see it in the moment. It's like I can swing early with Dorogora or Dex Dorogora, swings up with another body, let that hope that body dies, and then unsuspend and be able to swing again. Yeah. Yeah, because it just reads when another Digimon's deleted. That so yeah. as long as that condition is met, which if you swing and you die, it meets the condition, you can restand, which is absolutely nutty. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But yeah, yeah, well played by you. So, well played by you for it sure. It went pretty well. well yeah. It's very hard. Um, I got thrashed by Oscar in the first round, and I think Oscar and Mitchell's decks are pretty similar from what I could tell. Mm -hmm. um, it's uh i think mitchell just kind of had mitchell got sort of tough luck on that second game where he just didn't see a mimi um i was able to choke to one well and also and you pop in those analog youths i i high rolled, too, i yeah. high rolled like crazy yeah. and the, yeah popping analog youths was very good uh but yeah hopefully you guys enjoy this matchup uh let us know what you think in the comment section down below uh we are looking towards doing a dexter gore profile um highlighted by the master himself over here so be on the lookout for that in the coming days. Um, I think it should be a great one because I, I definitely see it being a pretty popular deck here um, in the BT17 format. A lot of folks have been kind of turning to it because of all the tools that it has, both black and purple base. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, be on the lookout for that. Let us know what you think down below and hopefully we catch you on that next video. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.